Hi everyone, we're back, it's -a me here, and today we're continuing on with Super Mario 3D Land. Now, um, I finished World 1 last episode, and so today we're moving on to World 2. Big, big step already. Uh, well, we get a nice little cutscene here, and uh, Mario's just getting another letter from Bowser. Oh. Um, Basically, Bowser's army up all his army to come and get Mario, and uh, it's not good. I, I feel sorry for the little plumber, actually. If, you if you've got that in 3D, they kind of all move, and the t leaves shake, and whatever. Yeah, it I like the background of that. There's a Diglett in the background. If you, if any of you play Pokemon, you'll, you'll know what a Diglett is. Anyway, so here we go, the first level of World 2, and uh, we're going to jump right in. Looking lovely already. Okay, now, oh, there's a toad up there. Oh, sorry. Not the smoothest of, um, of zoom ins, I, I must admit. I'm very sorry about that. Look, here are these Goombas that he sent out after me. Hoya! I feel like a ninja whenever I do this sort of thing. I've got ton of coins. Woo! So these are fire flowers. They were in the earlier game, but uh, I just keep getting to nuke leaves. It's not good. Look, watch this. Pretty cool. So there's lots of um. Despite it not being a Paper Mario game, there's lots of paper in this game. Or cardboard at the very least. I guess I should probably call it cardboard. But uh, it's, a, it's quite hard to understand why. Now, this is something which people often forget, and I don't understand why in all these Let's Plays. Although there was a piranha plant in it, you can go down this pipe. And um, that'd be where the first metal is. I'll go this way. That's another one of those freaky, freaky uh, perspective change things. And back in. Okay, so the, if you can see on the bottom screen, that's the second metal. And we uh, got the first from the toad who sent it out. So uh, that's this one up here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go onwards. We're going to kill this Goomba. Now this is quite interesting, if you get all the music notes, which play a piece of classic music, you often get some either a power-up or a life. Yeah, a life in this case. There's a nice little secret in there, little hole, cubby hole. Ah. Jump up, jump up. Kill all the Tanuki Gumbas. Ah, and can you see that back there? Now, if I was clever, I could have just done that and gone back there. But uh, I decided to try and float over. It would have been a bit embarrassing if I'd just fallen down. But you know, that's the way things happen. This one gives you a tanuki leaf, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does. I mean, I just keep getting coins, really. I don't need them at the moment. These levels are quite simple. And there we go. I mean, okay, so, just in terms of this game, I've already completed it once before. Um, I got my 3DS and I'd finished it in about, what, three weeks completely? Um, so that's all the golden flagpoles and everything. But I thought I'd just share the playthrough experience with other people, and so I've decided to record. And as you can probably see, we're a good, what is that, six episodes now? Six episodes in. So, yeah. Well, that's the end of that episode. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!